I just made this using like extra, you know, extra um, printer ink that I had. It didn't cost me any extra money. So. Hi! <laughs> so you saw the video title, you know what this is gonna be. I don't know if this will work. This is gonna be a fun little experiment. So, basically, I, uh, during the pandemic, over the past, you know, year and a half, I got really into printing my own art, and it was really exciting to make prints of my own art. Uh, let me show you a few. Like, you know, like these, just little tiny prints, just to get started. And, um, through making these little prints, I have been using a lot of these <laughs> printer cartridges and they leak a little bit when you take them out and i was thinking could i paint with these the answer is probably yes but like how would it work on a canvas how would it um how would a canvas absorb this as paint would it be like messy would it be runny would it not work well you know how would it dye the fabric that is the canvas and so I just want to jump into experimenting with these so um, in case you didn't know <laughs> printer cartridges come in four colors C cyan M magenta Y yellow and K which is black yeah so that's CMYK I have I think all kinds of cartridges here yeah, I want to, I'm going to try to only use black just a little bit. I want to use the three actual, like, color colors <laughs> as much as possible to try and layer them and mix them because really just stuck with those three basic colors and black. And yeah, I want to see what I can do and see what kind of colors I can make and see, most of all, does this even work? Does it even stick to the canvas? Does it even look nice? Does it like run? Is it too pigmented? Is it not pigmented enough? I have no idea. So I'm really excited and then maybe I'll get really into this. I'm just only paint using. Uh, pr probably not. Probably won't do that. But yeah. <laughs> so let's get going. I'm gonna get set up here and we'll see how this goes. <laughs> So I got as much ink out of the cartridges as I could get out. I have some water, I have a paintbrush, um, and I have basically my uh, a sketch of what I want to do drawn out on my canvas. Uh, basically I have this idea of a street sign, but instead of saying stop, it says keep on going. So it's like kind of cute and inspirational. And uh, of course I'm going to have to use negative space to do the lettering in any part that's white because I'm not using white paint. So yeah, I'm excited to get started. <laughs> This is where I am so far. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep on going today. I might stop and come back to it another day. But um, so far, first impressions. First of all, I'm remembering that <laughs> there are inks out there that people paint with, but I'm just not sure if leftover printer ink is at all similar to like, you know, the inks that people paint and write with. I'm gonna do some quick research on that and slap it here. <laughs> So basically what I found is that while with drawing and painting inks there's various different types, with printer ink it's all made in a similar way more or less so that it will work with whatever kinds of printers it's supposed to work with. 
It's mostly made of dyes, but some white pigment might be used to lighten certain colors. But then since it's mostly made of dyes, it's on the more transparent side. Drawing and painting inks can be made of dyes or pigments, which means that they can be transparent or opaque. And with printer ink, they usually put preservatives in there to make sure it has a longer lasting shelf life, which isn't always the case with drawing and or painting inks. Also, printer ink is usually oil-based, and it has certain ingredients added to give it a bit more of a shine, which to me makes it seem a little more similar to oil paint than watercolors and composition, despite my experience working with it being similar to watercolors. So, <laughs> back to the rest of the video. Whoop. Yeah, I was able to get the, um, the actual sign done. And uh, my first impressions are that it's really nice to work with, actually. I really like it. Maybe I should work with more inks in the future, and maybe not just printer ink, but it works really, really well. Um, it's kind of like watercolor, but more pigmented, I feel like. Um, but um, yeah, it feels kind of like watercolor in the way of if you screw up kind of hard to come back from it and I think especially with this limited color palette I'm gonna feel that as well but I'm liking it <laughs> I'm probably gonna do this in the future with every bit of leftover um, every bit of leftover ink I have because it's really enjoyable and really fun and a great way to use leftover printer ink so yeah <laughs> finish this. Yeah, that's all I wanted to say, is that I'm back, I'm gonna finish it this time. <laughs> uh, yeah, I really like how it's coming along. I'm gonna do the background, do the sky, add some nice clouds, so yeah. See ya in a bit. <laughs> So, I finished it, hell yeah, um, this is what it looks like, I'm gonna add in some close-ups here, so you can get a nice close-up view of this, I don't know how the light is, I don't know if the light's helping us here, but, yeah, I really, I do really love how it came out, especially, like, close-up, I love, looking at how like the different color inks mixed you know I like seeing how you know the yellow and the blue and the you know, you know. <laughs> I like seeing how it kind of all came together and um yeah I had fun doing this um would I do it again probably not a whole painting but the thing is like I just made this using like extra, you know, extra um, printer ink that I had. It didn't cost me any extra money. So 
I'm definitely open. <laughs> I'm very open to using uh, printer ink as a tool to create art in the future because yeah, I mean in the future I might go out and buy some like painting and drawing inks and then I could see how those differ but because I because I liked basically the experience of painting with ink. It was very interesting. It's very similar to watercolor but not quite. Um, very little margin of error, but I feel like if I wasn't just using, for example, if I wasn't just using ink, if I wasn't just using printer ink, I could go back in in these spots and use, you know, use white acrylic paint and fix like the lettering, because that's like the one thing I feel like isn't perfect that I wish I could go back and fix. But yeah, overall, 10 out of 10, good experience, learned a lot had a lot of fun, would do it again, maybe, and depends on what, probably an auto hole painting, probably just like, oh, I'll use the printer and cure as like an accent, you know, but yeah, it was fun. So yeah, thank you for watching, subscribe if you liked what you see and you want to see more, like if you liked, and... Bye! <laughs>